child watching your mind. Father, I have sinned against my girl. Open your heart to your mother church and you will be forgiven. Father, I love my girl from the bottom of my heart. I do love her, but I have not been faithful to her in the days passed by. The world is full of temptation and seduction. The man's strongest will can be broken by a woman. Just lately a fine young man, just like you, walked up to the door of this very church and prayed our Lord for forgiveness for the very same sin. I wonder, is it the time we are living in? Father, I tried to... Or is it maybe the place we are living in? What do you mean, Father? People talk, you might say, but walls have ears. You remember the young man I was telling you about? He was living just near my church, South Audi Street. I do remember. However, in the same street, a girl by the name of Esther is living as well. A sinister girl. You would not believe it. The things the wind tells about her are beyond my imagination. I'm sorry that you have to hear about this wise father, but rest assured, I did not sin against my girl with Esther of South Audley Street. I was hoping you would ease me, my dear child. But times are rare these days. Just today, a beloved brother from our diocese accorded me a message that a well-known former cat house girl of his community moved to our little town. A girl of good family. What happened to her? Nobody knows for sure, but she ran away from home and ended up with the wrong company. A lost sheep finding the wrong shepherd. And now she resides at Kennington Road. Poor Cathy. We all should pray for her comeback on the right way to the Lord. I will pray for her, Father. Such a fine young man you are, my dear child. I wonder what happened to the rest of your generation. I really do. Not all is lost, Father. There are many others living a chaste life, innocent and... I highly doubt that, my dear child. It should not be me to tell you the truth, but when my generation was young, you could tell the innocent from the sinful. There's no telling in your generation. Not anymore. There was a young girl serving in my church, a member of the choir, an angel, my little Caroline. Her parents had married in this church, even her grandparents, I can recall. She grew up in this church, and she grew up to be the devil in disguise. Whatever tore her apart from the way of God, it's not in my power to tell. She left her parents' house to live with various young men, in shame and disgrace. I wondered what made her leave the pales of the church. I thought she might have moved. She did. At last she left her parents' house. Penton Street is where she resides now. I am convinced, but I am worrying all the time about these poor lost souls. You have barely brought your concerns to my ear. What is it you had to talk to me about? Rest assured, it is a trifle that can be settled any time. I have to leave you now, Father. My girl is waiting for me, but do know, talking to you has helped me a lot. So, did you get your absolution? No. But three new addresses. <laughs>